All right, so as I'm walking back to the car, defeated, because that back wheel is locked. As you can see, destroyed 40% of all the spokes on that side. What's happening, Brochachis? So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, all my stuff is behind me, so I'm about to go cruise around at the Paramount Skate Park, aka The Village. I'm out here because I actually got my car stolen this weekend, and I'm selling my house. Last week, knocked myself out. And then on Friday, there was a crazy rush of the stock market where GameStop, AMC took huge spikes and then crashed back down. And there's a whole bunch of craziness happening. I also just bought a new GoPro. So there's a lot to unbox in today's episode. But before we get into any of that, please make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help. And number two, check out Sheepy Race. We just dropped a whole new line of clothes. It might be currently sold out when you see this, but uh, next week it'll be up. So just check us out on Instagram. We'll update you guys. First and foremost, I have to say that I do have an, wow, my hands are dirty. I've been working all day, so I'm probably gonna hand sanitize them before I get my pads on and my helmet before I go ride the skate park. What was I gonna say before that? Now I forgot. Ah, yes. So I have two vlogs that I'm sitting on. I might just end up combining them tonight and then dropping it tomorrow, but I've had a really long weekend. So I just decided to go to Best Buy, buy the new GoPro. I'm gonna test it out at the skate park, put it on my chest mount, go rip around and just unwind for a little bit because I did have a rough week. So I'm gonna put all that on now. I'm gonna go cruise at the skate park and then I'll fill you in about the whole thing with the car robbery. My car, the Tesla is fine. I do own a couple of vehicles, so I'll fill you guys in on that. And then I'll let you know if my house sold or not. And then what I'm gonna do on Monday with the stock market, if you guys are curious about that. So let me go through all this stuff on. But sometimes I have to sit in the back of the trunk here, which is very convenient. It turns into a bed and you can get like an inflatable bed, which is really cool. And then there's like camping mode, circulates the air conditioning really nicely for you to be in there. Anyways, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys any of that. Put on my shadow knee pads and my shadow shin guards. And I also will use a shadow ankle brace. And if you guys are curious about the shoes, these are some Nike Dunks 5.1 series orange tags. They're pretty dope. I like high top shoes. They really do help for your ankle support and so you don't bang up your bone. All right, now I'm gonna throw that on and then go cruise. This might seem like a little commercial because it kind of is since I am sponsored by Shadow Experience in Sabrosa, but check out my beautiful bike. The Matt Ray MR1, laced up to all the shadow parts. Sabrosa, Simone Sprocket. We got some killer cranks. Cassette, that's right, Cassette Gang. I still owe the homie out in Portland this seat. As soon as I get my new bike, I'm gonna send this to you, all signed up. And then my shadow lid. As you can see, <laughs> it's taken some beating already. So I might get a new one pretty soon. Also, shout out to the riding bag. I got all my pads and my bike lock and everything in there. And then shout outs to Lakewood Best Buy for having an open box GoPro Hero 9. I'm gonna test this out today. Uh, open box means that obviously it's used. So I'm a frugal guy. I like cheap things. So let's see if this is good. I also bought this uh, media mod. So it allows you to have peripherals on your GoPro. So this will have a nice uh, directional mic and then you can also put it has hot shoes so you, that's where you can mount if you want to put a little light or another mic it'll allow that so we're going to test all that out and this might be the last few clips on this phone everything else from now on will be on the gopro okay i lied so this will be the last clip but look we'll have a little ghetto unboxing this is a gopro hero 8 it's lovely i let it down on the ground gently so don't worry it's not getting scratched up battery and the little accessories to mount it to my chest mount so let's look at the open box Hero 9. Again, frugal, all good though. So the cool thing about the Hero 9 is that it does have that little frontal camera and also you have the removable lenses. So that'll be pretty cool. Everything else seems pretty much the same. So I think it'll work very nicely. The cool thing about all the new Heroes is that you don't have a case around it anymore and the attachment for the chest mount and everything is just at the bottom and it's just little flaps and they're really cool. And if you were to break them, you can remove them. So it's pretty smart on their end. Um, one thing I'm very curious about is the battery. I'll find out in a second. And also the door. I actually lost the door on this one. So I want to see if the door from this guy will fit on this one and if the batteries are different and they look like they are, of course. So that means that the door won't work over here. So I'm going to have to buy a little door for this one. If anyone wants to make me an offer on the Scoper Hero 8, DM me on Instagram and I'll sell it to you for cheap. All right, I'm gonna put this on and that's it. See you later, phone, all GoPro. So the frontal view is pretty cool, except that it's pretty delayed, but it'll allow you to center yourself and see what you're looking like in frame. The audio, I think sounds pretty nice. And I'm gonna test it out at the skate park today without the mod and then with the mic and then any other way possible. I'm pretty keen on really getting into the GoPro and my phone. It allows for so much easier uh, editing, a lot quicker and I am working with an editor now. I'm not sure if this video will get edited by him, 
but eventually that's kind of the future of my channels. Uh, I don't really have the time anymore to sit down in front of the computer for two to three hours to edit two or three videos, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and streamline that. So I'm gonna put this on my chest now, so I'll see you guys in a bit off from this angle. I gotta take my watch off. What's up, man? Hello. How's it going? Good time to run into another BMXer all day. Hi, oh, yeah, man. What's your name, bro? Alfredo. RJ, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, RJ. Oh, yeah. What's that? No, that's what those green are for. Pegs? Yeah, it's a grinder. So stand on them? Yeah, you can do that too though. You can't do them at the same time though. Appreciate it. Oh, well, there goes the wheel. But I landed it. I got break. Holy shit. <laughs> well, there goes that. <laughs> Good way to end my video. Just uh, broke all the spokes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he just like backflip that shit. Like, oh, just, uh, flared? Yeah. Just flared? Oh, yeah. Just too much pressure, but I gotta go. <laughs> See you guys. Nice to meet you. The hang five technique seems to be working. I can't hang five that long, so this would be pretty counterproductive if I tried it, but can't win them all. All right, so as I'm walking back to the car, defeated because that back wheel is locked. As you can see, destroyed. 40% of all the spokes on that side. So we're gonna have to redo that whole wheel. But that might be a good time to announce a giveaway, obviously. Um, gotta fix it first, though. So. What a way to cap the weekend. Luckily, I didn't get injured or anything. I just, uh, I think I forced the flare a little too hard. I have a lot of air pressure right now. I think I'm running like 85, 90 almost. So that'll, uh, that'll definitely get you boost and stuff. I was definitely going higher than I normally go at the skate park. Again, that added air pressure. As far as the car robbery, I can't really talk about what car got stolen. Uh, because I feel like I'm being targeted. So it has to be vague, but I did get the car back. There was substantial damages and I'm gonna have to deal with my insurance all day tomorrow and try and recover some of the stuff that was stolen. Again, I got a lot to be thankful for. Um, I mentioned that I was gonna tell you guys about stock market. So if you guys wanna learn more about that, I have another YouTube channel, Instagram, and even an OnlyFans all dedicated to the stock market. Follow me there. Anyways, I dragged this tire the whole way here. So it's probably gonna be a flat spot on that tire now. Somebody's not gonna want it, but yeah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna buy some GameStop and AMC. I already have some AMC, but I profited a lot on it. So I turned it into free, which means that if you bought something for a hundred bucks and you doubled your money and you profited a hundred bucks, you pull out a hundred and you leave that first hundred as free because you made a hundred and now you can gamble it. So if you lose it, you're not so sad because you didn't lose your first hundred right so free money 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I left my backpack at the skate park with my car keys and some other belongings. But luckily I have my phone on me. My phone lets me drive my car. Oh, <laughs> whoa, somebody is getting down right now. My phone allows me to unlock my car and go get the keys from the skate park. So I'm just gonna run in there, grab my backpack, and then I'll finish this, this vlog. The bag is secure. It's back there. See what I did there? Bag there. I did not mean to do that. Again, I appreciate all of you guys. I gotta go fix that wheel. Might wait till, actually I might have a spare wheel at home I could put on for the time being. And then, all right, little insider information. My life has been getting progressively crazier. So I try to schedule a lot of videos in one day. So on Tuesdays, I try to film a how-to, and if I can, I'll go visit Fu and Max at Epic, and we'll film a What the Fu Wednesday, and also a Tech Thursday, all in the same day. But I should really get back to letting the car drive me home. I'll show you guys a little bit of what it looks like to be driven home by the car, which is pretty crazy. It doesn't respect traffic lights yet, so you gotta watch for those. But everything else it does pretty well, including lane changes and whatnot. But that's it. I should be going now. I gotta edit this video. I'm not gonna tell you that I'm gonna do it while driving, but maybe. But uh, that's it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tune in to tomorrow's vlog, which will be my new tattoo and a couple other announcements. So thanks for watching.